wine. When men have wet drunk, then thou which is worth, but thou hast kept the good wine unto them. This is the beginning of miracles. Did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, in Cana of Galilee, and manifest his glory, and his disciples believe on him? Somebody say, I believe on him. I believe on him. Somebody say, I believe on him. I believe on him. The Bible said that there was a wedding. Now listen, the Bible said there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. Look at this to English. The mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus was also invited. The mother was there because she is invited. Now, the Bible says, and Jesus also was invited. Jesus did not go into that marriage uninvited. Jesus did not go into that marriage uninvited. And Jesus was invited in the invitation letter. It was written, You and your disciples. If you read it very well, Lord said, And also the disciples of Jesus was called to the wedding, to the marriage. His mother was there. And the Bible said that Jesus was also invited. He was invited. If the purpose of the 
fighting Jesus is for relationship, is for grandness, is for being for his presence in your life. All things will work. Am I completing? Yes, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, sir. When you invite God for a purpose, it may carry the God is God. But when you don't have any other intention, your intention of inviting Jesus into your life is because you love him. He will come speedily. But when he comes, he knows there is lack. When he comes, he knows there is need. When he comes, he knows that there is something, there is a force that needs to be filled. When he comes, he knows that there is a wine that has to be finished. When he comes, he knows that there is a there is a womb that needs baby. When he comes, all you should do is to invite Jesus into your life. All you do is to invite him. What are the ways you can invite Jesus? Number one. You can invite Jesus, number one. When you decide to live a holy life, there is that is an automatic in the invitation to Christ. When you decide to live a life of purity, that is an automatic ticket of invitation. When you decide to live a life of sincerity, a life without communication and adoration and all, that is a automatic in invitation to Christ. When you live a life of honest, that is an automatic invitation of Christ. When you live a life of But you cannot believe in sin. I mean, the Lord Jesus coming to my life. He's not coming. If sincerely the reason why you call him, why you are living in sin to come, is to come and help you to live a righteous life. That you want to turn away from your evil, he will definitely come. Now, what I'm saying to that is that Christ was invited on the purpose of entertainment. Along the line, miracle happened. Christ was invited because they wanted him. When you want Jesus in your life, you will invite him into your life. Now, don't call Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, come and hear you. No. And don't come and talk to somebody. Yes. We say, Jesus, Jesus, come and cross my Jesus. You are getting it wrong. Because there are many people that want their business to grow. There are many people that are sick that want Jesus in. There are many people that want their life to change. But when you say Jesus come into my life, all I just want is your presence in my life. He knows what to do. All I want is your presence. And when his presence comes into your life, definitely there's going to be healing. When his presence comes into your life, definitely there's going to be restoration. When the presence of God comes into your life, definitely there's going to be sex and water. Don't don't just call Christ because of science and water. You will find it difficult for him to come into your life. Am I going to get it? Yes, sir. Am I going to get it? Yes, sir. So, now, the man of Jesus was there and Peter was there. Along the line, there was a lack. And he was also there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It was not in the favor of those who had 
anointing. It was done in the favor of the mother. It was done in the favor of those who invited him here. It was done in his own time. Because he said this very clear that it's not here my time. It's not here my season. It's not here my hour. But when my time comes, you will know. Mother, what is your time? And let it be. He said, when it's finished, feed the water pot. Feed the water pot with water. And I'll say, and they feed it. He said, draw them out. And they draw it. What they need, they were feeding him. But can I talk to you? At the end, who took the glory? It was Jesus. Though it was not his time. But the glory cannot be taken away from you. Though it was not his time. But the glory was not taken away from you. Am I going to praise him? Yes, sir. Am I going to praise him? Yes, sir. Am I going to praise him? Yes, sir. That is what I brought. Was waiting for obedience. Can you imagine? That this water pot has been there. Need a touch. The this water was waiting for instruction for them to obey. And Lord said, and they feed the water pot with water. And you know the number of six. The Bible tells us that God will keep the world six days and the seven days in rest. In other words, Jesus must do that without the world rest. And that's what I'm going Because the number of pot is signified six. And the Bible says that God walked in six days and the seven days rested. In other words, six is not seven. Jesus will not rest. He will continue. I don't have to get it. Yes, sir. Am I talking to some of you? Yes, sir. I see your problem is coming from your heart. Amen. Amen. I wish you believe. I see your problem is coming from your heart. Amen. Amen. Your problem is coming from your heart. Amen. Jesus was there. Jesus was there. 
And when you're praying, take it serious. Don't drop the same what you don't need. I don't know if you know yourself. Don't drop the same anything. Else. And don't turn the presence of God to cross. To a praise is not a social guiding where people come together to smoke and oil. It's a holy guiding. The, 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 the garden, the church of God is a holy garden. It's a place where the saints, where sinners are all come together to amend that way and to be great to God. So when you are coming, even if you are praying, whatever prayer you are praying, be so sure, be so, don't go into prayer when you don't need it. Pray what you need and pray and pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So when you are praying, we pray, don't, don't tell me we are not joking here. This is a place where work has settled us. This is a place where destinies are settled us. This is a place where testimonies are coming. And one of the things the Holy Spirit said to me is that there is a testimony already in our hands. Amen, I receive. Say there is a testimony already in our hands. Amen, I receive. I believe you are that person. Amen. There is a testimony in our hands. Amen, I receive. Please let's share 
Grace 